Ooh, back on the JK party set again. Everyone working, setting things up. Good morning, Ryan. Today is our first day back shooting JK party since the new year. And I'm excited because I miss everyone. Hey, Ken. Oh, I like your hair. Oh, thank you very much. You put one little streak in there? Yeah, it's for something special. What's the special? It's like a something gonna happen. Oh, it's like a something happen. It's like an NDA. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ken's crazy. Yeah, we're setting things up, getting everything ready. This place looks brand new for some reason, even though it's not. It's been the same. We haven't really done much to really make it brand new. But just because I haven't been here in a while, it just feels brand new. It might even feel brand new for you guys. If you guys are watching the video, you're like, oh man, I haven't seen that place in a long time. That Michael picture is still on the door. Hey, Michael. It's never gonna be taken off, it's timeless. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we also meet again. <laughs> Food. But damn it, you know what I hate about bagels? They always look so fucking bomb. Deluxe bagels. What they're like in the York? Cinnamon raisin. Huh? Oh, I thought you were talking to us. No, I was vlogging. Wow, rude. But you know what I hate about bagels? Put your phone away. This thing is 260 fucking calories. So no one eats one bagel. You gotta eat at least two or three of these. What? And then that's immediately like seven, eight hundred calories. What the hell? God damn it. I think everyone eats only one bagel. It's you that eats more than... It's so dense. It's, it's so fucking dense. tiny. It's like a donut sized thing. But it's a dense donut. It's like oatmeal. That shit's dense. Yeah, I eat like two or three bowls of those. What's your point? That it's not everyone. You're just abnormal. God damn it. They need to make some lighter bagels so I can eat three of them. And you know what else is fucking tricky? These delicious Pop-Tart things. Pop-Tarts, brown sugar cinnamon. And watch. It says, uh, you read it and you go, 210 calories, you're like, oh, for the whole pack? Nope, for one pastry. So that means in one pack, where is this motherfucker? In this damn one pack, we know there's two of them in here, right? Those two, if you eat both of them, then it turns into 400 calories, you fucking trickster. It should be one serving is two of them, not one serving is one. We're supposed to share with someone? Hey, babe. Yeah? Uh, Brandon just noticed your G-Star. Brand new jeans? Hell yeah. The story behind G-Star. I'm a sponsored G-Star athlete. Yeah, right. <laughs> no way. They used to sponsor the world chess champion. What? Yeah. Oh, no, I was just to sponsor you. <laughs> no, I was just looking for jeans, and then I tried these on, and they stretch hella good. Yeah, G-Star jeans are nice. Like, I could go ass to grass. Yeah. I like the design, too. You got G-Stars, too? Back. No, not, not these. What are those? Oh, yeah, I do have them. Some, are... Those are some fucking high beast yeah, ass jeans. Yeah, you should hit him up for These clothes. are Cheap Mondays, if you know what Cheap Monday is. I bet they're, like, not cheap. They're, they're actually pretty cheap. How much? These were maybe 60 something. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's yeah, my yeah. G-Star ones were like 100 something. Yeah. <laughs> I bought some more G-Stars. Gio <laughs> said you got six pairs. Uh, I don't know. No, I bought three pairs. And then uh, I ordered some more that came in. I just want to make sure and confirm the size. And then I, gotta, I haven't tried all of them. I'm still in boxes still. Yeah, you have like Damn, eight dog. or nine boxes. Just waiting for the G-Star. Yep. New year, new year for Barbie. Yep. He's trying to wear clothes again. <laughs> trying to wear clothes again. Yeah, yeah. So he did before? Yeah, all the time. He'll go on a shopping spree and then he just, he realizes that just wearing workout clothes is better. <laughs> well, what made you change it to you? Uh, I don't know, I just feel like I'm always wearing gym clothes all the time and I gotta change it. Yeah. I like fucked up and I made like coffee like that's yeah. at the brim. I drank some and uh, it didn't, I had to drink the top so it doesn't spill. And now I'm just walking around trying to get out of people's way without spilling hot coffee. I wonder how fast I can go. Ooh, oh, my thumb. Oh, I can't even drop it. Oh, shit. Bad idea. Okay. I think we're going to start filming. And for 2018, we got a new kind of creative direction for the JK piece. We're gonna have a beginning of year meeting. What's Mama Bear doing over there? That's Taika Eyes. Your eyes are too sexy for Taika Eyes. Oh. 
good. And I was like, yeah. You look weird. You look like the nosy neighbor that's peeking over. He's fucking tall. Pervert, get out of here. What was his name? It was from Home Alone. Not Home Alone. Uh, Home Improvement. Yeah. What was his name? Uh, I forgot. The neighbor. That's this guy. That you never saw his face. Hey, neighbor. Yeah. So, Ryan, can you tell me what your job is? My job is a multi camera director, <laughs> so I have to juggle four cameras right here. Wow. Um, and I have to give directions to all the camera crew to let them know. Through what, through your little headset? Yeah, we all have headsets. So then um, I'm listening to Michael tell me what he wants specifically. Why do you listen to him? Because he's the producer. P producer? <laughs> what the question? Hey. <laughs> I don't know what I do with so I don't know, I don't know what, what I do. You're like a showrunner? You're a Why doesn't Michael listen to you? Huh? I don't want to listen to Michael. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always have to listen to Michael. Yeah, but I have to let the camera crew know what they're supposed to be getting. I'm paying attention to all of their um, focuses and all of their like uh, f stops. And, uh, Ooh, all these squiggly, like squiggly yeah, number lines. To make sure that, to make sure that everyone is like, on, like everything is on and on the same page, and it gives the camera crew something to listen to, so they don't like get like fatigued and like just looking at one thing because I'm looking at all the things. But well, thank you, that. thank you for keeping everything in order. No problem. Thank you for keeping everything in order. Thank you for keeping <laughs> everything in order. What the hell? I have sweaty hands. You got stuck. You know how I trick motherfuckers on Just Kidding Party? Like it's another day. I put on a jacket. I wore the same exact shit. When I wear a jacket and not everyone thinks it's another day of shooting, that's how I can minimize packing a ton of shit. Because on JK Party, we shoot, I don't know, today we're shooting. How many games are we shooting today, Michael? Today we're shooting five games, and so we're going to make it seem like it's five days. Yeah. That's the magical secret behind JK Party. Yeah. So, to be efficient, shooting five games. So, one of my outfits is just a jacket over the t shirt. If you guys. Forgot to do the laundry. Not that I did, but if you forgot to do the laundry and you want to mix it up, just throw on a jacket. And hopefully, it doesn't warm you up where you make the shirt smell because you're wearing it two days in a row. Jill's mom just sent us some pictures right now that my mom is over visiting Taika while we're shooting JK Party. Can you see the screen or do I need to make it brighter? Uh, I can see it. Okay, ready for what's to come? Yeah. This is what I could. This is a glimpse of Bart's childhood when I swipe. I feel like you went through the same thing. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So this is my baby. I own him. Okay. But somehow, and he's and he's half Mexican. Yeah. But somehow this happened. Hey, hey, look at that Chinese baby. There is not one ounce of Mexico there. I know. It's all, all of a sudden. China. Baby they do emperor. say that the clothes make the man. Oh, the emperor Taika. <laughs> I wonder if in my mom's mind. Let me hold on. Let me let me play it. Let's see what it, what's happening. She's way more excited than he is. The parents are always like that, though. He does look pretty cute in that thing. What were you gonna say about your mom? Uh, I feel like in my mom's mind, he's probably a hundred percent Chinese. Or in your mom's mind, he's you. Yeah, probably. Like, oh, baby Bart. What a cute guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, you can't play this. But yeah, that's what our son's doing right now. Oh, we got more. Oh, nice. Hey, baby. Real time. Oh, that one you can't play. What a good boy. Can. That's awesome. Meanwhile, I'm eating lunch, my regular meal prep. I'm feeding for bad food so bad, even though it's day two on the diet. So I made this mac and cheese. Yeah, I made this mac and cheese because the macros are really good. Seven grams of protein with only three and a half grams of fat, and I'm pouring it on my meal. <laughs> so I have a nice cheesy meal. Yeah. Oh, they actually are married. I mean, first day of JK party is in the books. Our first game was kind of rough. We played this game. I don't know, we didn't bring our A game, or the game was kind of boring. We're actually gonna scrap one of the videos, I and mean, we rarely do that, but uh, like, I think an hour into gameplay, we're like, dude, we looked at each other, this game's kind of boring. So we're gonna scrap it so no one will ever see it. Um, we don't wanna put out bad content. But then, we started playing two other games. One of them that's really, really fun is, uh, there's like this game where it's the, you have to say the most obscure part of a song, like, like really embedded in the chorus, and then everyone has to, everyone on our team has to guess um, the melody, the title, the artist, and the next line. And that was super, super fun. And we got to see all the songs that everyone listens to, and it ranges from anything from like Greece 
to the weekend. So that was pretty fun. I'm glad that our chemistry and our um, mojo came back. Now I gotta go get a haircut. My hair always grows hella long. It always just catches me off guard. It's like I get a haircut, cool, it looks good for like a week, and all of a sudden, I'm like, what the hell? What happened to my afro? Where's the afro come from? I'm gonna go get a haircut. You guys wanna see what LA traffic looks like? It looks exactly like this. All the cars are red, red lights on, jam packed, moving around like snails. I'm going, what, like under 10 miles an hour? Even under five even. And we're just merging lanes, we're getting passed up by big old trailers. Everything is just super slow, people sig signaling, moving around. LA traffic sucks ass. Look at how many people are behind me, look at that. It's just a row of lights, sea of lights. And uh, sometimes you're lucky where you just go through a big old chunk of traffic and you get to go onto the 10 freeway and then, uh, or the another freeway, which I'm going on right now, the 10, and it just opens up. Sometimes you're stuck in this for a long time. And if you're on the 5 North where I am right now, and let's say uh, 5 North connects uh, Southern California and Northern California, if you're trying to go from San Diego to Sacramento, Oh boy, you're gonna be in big trouble. Look at this. You're gonna be stuck here forever. Forever. Got my hair cut. Um, I didn't do my hair because I still got some training to do. Gotta do my cardio. But I think Tiff came over to hang out with Taika and check him out. So I'ma see. Tia Tiff and little Taika that thinks she missed him. I always like it when friends come over. Oh. Hey, okay. my bear. Did you lock my car? Not yet. Okay. Locking time. Uh. Yep. There we go. Tia Tiff with little Taika. Oh, that's the outfit from today. Welcome home, Daddy. Hey, you big caterpillar. <laughs> So really? I tried to talk to him, he's like... <laughs> Cause Thea has him right now, I can't even say anything. Look at those eyebrows. Look at those eyebrows. He's, he's, so in a, he's in a comfy he's position. Good. He was. He's cute. Yeah. It's okay, look, look, look. You like this, you like the teething. He's teething for sure. Oh, is he? Yeah, for sure. He's drooling so much and he keeps like rubbing his bottom gum. Yeah. He's for sure teething, aren't you, Taika? Oh, no. Is he hungry? <laughs> no? Oh, it could be because it's just true. Oh, I see. Let me see if um. Oh, hey, baby. Try that again. Hey, little guy. <laughs> Where are the outfits? Oh, over there? Oh, God. What is this? What kind of stuff is this? Okay. So, some Chinese emperor baby stuff, of course. And my mom always brings these cookies, which are delicious. I love those. More of those? Yeah, I saw those. Good boy. We put Taika to sleep a little bit early tonight. Not really. Not really? No. We pushed the bed. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. So, okay, I so. I think you're kind of out of whack just because of last night. We're all like, Ugh. That's true. Okay, so I'll pretty much shut the fuck up then. Um, we put Taika to sleep just perfectly. And uh, he deserved it because last night he went through so much. Yeah. And Cause he, we, he usually wants to knock out by 8 o'clock now. So I just pushed it back a little bit. So by 9, 10 he's out. Yeah. But I'm really proud of him. He's such a good boy. Like, all he does, all he ever really cries about at night, because we're just, we're just doing a lot of reading and research about this whole, like, graduated extinction and, like, this whole self-soothing type thing. And Taika doesn't really fit the description they're talking about, because it's usually for babies that wake up in the middle of night crying, uh, either because they're bored or, or anything outside of their basic necessities. But Taika, he only wakes up and only cries when he's hungry, so... There's no real point of doing that. We're just going to feed him um, when he wakes up and goes to sleep. And that's it. Because he's such a good boy. So many people love him so much. Grandma loves him. Tia Tiff came over. I'm so 
I feel so blessed and grateful to really have such you a know, my guy. brother and sister, like as soon as they heard my mom was gonna watch him over the weekend, they were like, I'm going over to mom's house. I'm like, you guys never come over when I'm there. I like, don't give a shit about you. We give a shit about Taika. <laughs> That's cute. He's just so cute. Yeah. He just makes everyone around him so happy. Even you guys. Yeah. When well, you guys see, that's literally how Taika is all the time. Taika in the future. In the future. And you go back and watch these old ass videos by that time. Mm -hmm. um, I love you very much. And you're the best baby in the world. And yep. I'm very, very grateful for you. And I never would have thought in a million years, because I'm such a butthead, that I'm going to have such an awesome and cute baby. What about... What about message to his future brother and sister? Message to your future brother and sister. Um, Taika's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully you're just as awesome. And not a butthead like me. But maybe butthead like me. Maybe. Your mama's kind of buttheadish, so. Underneath all this hair, there's an ass crack and a butthole. Oh yeah, we, we smell it. <laughs> I'm setting myself up for that one, home. Huh? Yeah. What the hell are you eating over there? It looks like some good stuff. Green beans? Mm -hmm. For the veggies? Mm -hmm. How's your mommy weight so far? Doing pretty good on the whole like weight loss and all that stuff? Yeah, I didn't gain any weight over our retreat. Yeah. Did you talk to them about the retreat? Oh, no, not really. Well, over the weekend we had a retreat. I'll let Barter explain more, but yeah, basically it was a no work, no diet, no talk about work um, type of getaway for our Barba Brigade company. And we all cooked together, we cleaned together, we ate together, anything we wanted. And I didn't get any weight. Or, yeah, I didn't come back heavier. That's awesome. What Just about in terms head. of the overall weight from mommy to back to sexy? Um, I'm about 13 pounds away. Mm, that's nice. When I started, it was like 25, 30. Nice. It's good significant. Good job. Thank you. Good job, mama. You help a lot. Oh. So this weekend uh, we had, uh, or the past weekend, like last week, we um, we had our retreat for Barbell Brigade. It was awesome, and uh, I really wanted to vlog and kind of share the whole moment with you, with you guys. But then we realized that since we don't really get a chance for the entire company, corporate, and gym side to bond, I was like, you know, what? I don't want to let cameras or anything get in the way. So we just had a no filming rule. No one filmed anything on a professional camera. If people wanted to share something on their phone. That's fine. But we didn't want anything that was going to be longer than 10 seconds or 30 seconds of filming. So we really couldn't share anything. But we had a really great experience. Um, our athletes and our main company staff were able to bond. And even me with some of the gym members because Mom Bear runs the gym now. So um, I'm, I'm not as tight as with some of the gym staff as Mom Bear was. And now we have a bunch of inside jokes that can re we can refer to from the retreat. And it was such an awesome experience. <laughs> Do you sign Nami? No. <laughs> so funny. What I was really gonna turn the camera on for is to show you guys how lucky I am. What? <laughs> this cutie. <laughs> All three dogs lined up. <laughs> He's trying to bite it. You see me love? I'm trying to bite it. <laughs> this cutie. Hey, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give it to him good. <laughs> You're on the order of sizes, too. That's so cute. Okay, you can go back. This is actually like a story. <laughs> oh, that's it's cute. Except for the dogs. So what I was going to show you is that since I have, uh, I'm back on my macros, and uh, since I'm doing a slow gradual cut now, I don't have a meat anymore, my calories are way higher. I'm so happy. This is what I have to eat to hit my, my uh, macros tonight. So I get to eat this little coffee cake. I get to eat these little puffs. Oh, this is so awesome. And the cool thing is, because I'm on macronutrients, um, I'll still be able to cut nice and slow, and once I stabilize my metabolism... Let me take you to a gym that's nice and quiet. Quiet. There ain't no one that... You're not even wearing pants. I'm gonna cut nice and slow. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut real nice and slow, like Marber's saying. <laughs> and, um, 
And what's cool, what I'm trying to do is reverse diet. And what that means is I'm trying to increase my metabolism and caloric. pop a pow pow I'm getting tired. I don't know all this fucking weird jargon. But uh, if I can get my calories to 3,300, then I could start eating bad stuff and still be lean. You ever see those freaking guys that are freaking ripped and they're eating in and out all day? That's what I'm trying to get to. So I'm slowly trying to build my, my caloric maintenance up. But this is the first start. And there's a special way to do it. Don't just go out there and start eating bad food. This is a, I know, and I have friends. Scientific okay? method. Scientific method, and it's getting late, because I'm slurring my words, and I'm having a drink or done anything, so I'm going to go to sleep. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.